What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for the 2020 sequel film, Borat, subsequent movie film, the direct sequel but very late sequel to the 2006 film, uh, um, Borat. So this is going to be a relatively quick review, so um, the basic idea of the second movie, based on the first one, is that it is a direct sequel in that um, Borat is sent to America to have... Kazakhstan joined the club of strongmen based on countries that have become friends with Trump since he became president. Um, they send their um, top movie star, a, a monkey, and I forget his name, but uh, Borat's daughter smuggles herself and may or may not have eaten said monkey, and so the mission changes to get her married into or married with someone in Trump's inner circle so that. Um, Kazakhstan can join the club of men who are friends with America. Um, so overall, if you watch the first Borat film, you kind of get an idea of what the overall premise of the movie is. But the movie has an unexpected turn in that um, it becomes a kind of maturing story of Borat's daughter and a little bit of Borat himself. For the most part, he stays the same, but she learns that a lot of the stuff that she learned about in her life is has been a lie so things like um her womanly maturity to put it in a uh, pg uh, way um things about women living in cages and things like that so um and then also physical changes um, basically a uh, breast augmentation things like that so overall she learns a lot of what it takes to be or what it means to be a woman outside of what she's growing up learning about so she grows um some Borat grows a little bit so things like his um, perception and understanding of the Holocaust has changed um, some of the other stuff has kind of stayed along the same lines of what he's used to so the book that his daughter reads for um, the, of basically what her knowledge is he continuously goes back to that so more or less um, Borat is Borat but it's kind of a look at not really a look, but it's kind of basically the movie has a lot of heart in that um, Borat's daughter comes more of age as far as cultures outside of Kazakhstan being um, different and more understanding and lenient towards women than um, what she expects and so overall the movie is good on that front and then things are there's good callbacks to the first movie as well so uh, we get Borat's neighbor who's um, basically adopted his sons and they go over and be his sons also go over and become his neighbor's sons because of the, his failures in the first movie so the sons have essentially disowned him um, Borat has lost his reputation and positive image with the country and now Everyone basically hates him, so they're happy to be rid of him. So overall, the movie is pretty well done. If you enjoyed the first film or you understand the nuances of what Borat as a character is, then you will most likely un um, understand and enjoy this film. Um, if you're not a fan of his work or if you're not really on his same political leanings, then you may not enjoy it as much. But in th at the very least, it's an entertaining film. Um, it is about on par as far as humor and awkwardness and unease as the first film, but with um, more of a relationship and relationship building between him, him and his daughter. So that's all there really, really is for this review without spoiling too much of it. Um, the trailer is a good look, a good peek into the movie without spoiling too much, so I definitely recommend giving the movie a watch. It is currently streaming on Amazon Prime, so... Um, that is where you can check out the movie. I didn't see if the first one is streaming there or not. I want to say it might be, but I didn't check. But overall, I'd probably give the film about a, probably about a B- minus to a B grade. Um, it was good, enjoyable, um, about on par as far as quality as the first one. Um, and it's basically it's an awkward movie at best, so... Um, that is really all there is to say about that. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at Patel and 01 the website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, 
and all of that good stuff. And as of the recording of this episode, the podcast is now streaming on Amazon Podcasts and YouTube, so you can check them out there. There's a uh, link on the website for both of those locations, so um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel at Patel or um, youtube.com slash Patel N01. Um, or if you have Amazon Music installed, then you can search for headphones nail reviews there. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.